Hi, I'm Amy Timmerman with Nebraska Extension, and this is Infield Observations. So today I want to talk about personal protective equipment, or PPE, in particular gloves. We are getting hot and heavy in the growing season, and we're going to be making those herbicide, fungicide, and insecticide applications. But PPE is important to keep yourself safe as you're making those applications. Now, we're pulling up the Roundup Paramax label, and as you can clearly see on the label, it says that you need to wear chemical resistant gloves. But there is so much variability in gloves. So first I wanna show you, this is a chemical resistant glove. It says it on the package. It is a 15 millimeter thickness nitrile glove, which it meets all label instructions and is safe for us to use. However, with these gloves, some individuals don't like the dexterity or the gloves are too big and so they prefer using the disposable nitrile gloves, which are great options. But those disposable nitrile gloves can come in multiple thicknesses. So what I'm showing you today is a medical grade uh, nitrile glove. This is four millimeter in thickness. Before I put that glove on, I am going to mark my hand with a black square with a black permanent Sharpie marker. And then I'm gonna slip that glove on once the marker is dry. Now, I am taking a cotton ball and I am soaking it with acetone. The reason why I'm using acetone is acetone is a common carrier in most of our pesticides. Now, I'm taking that cotton ball and I'm gonna rub it on my hand. This is about 30 seconds of rubbing. As I continue to rub, you can start seeing that black square on my hand more and more prevalent. Please keep in mind, I'm not feeling any wetness. But as I take that glove off and I peel it off, you see I have black marker on the inside of my glove. This is indicating that I had permeability. That means this glove is not protecting me from the acetone, thus is not protecting me from the pesticide. So it's really important when we're looking at our disposable gloves to make sure we're getting the right thickness. And on our boxes, there's usually a little corner that will tell you the thickness. Well, you need 14 millimeter thick gloves or higher to protect you from chemical uh, penetration and exposure as you're making those pesticide applications this coming growing season.